A non-uniform rod, PQ, of length 24 metres rests horizontal on two supports, R and S, where PR is equal to QS is equal to 6 metres. The greatest mass that can be hung from P without disturbing the equilibrium is 120 kilograms, and the greatest mass that can hung, be hung from Q is 80 kilograms. Find the mass of the rod and the distance of the centre of the mass from P. Right, what you've got to do first of all is obviously draw a diagram. So draw a diagram. Now remember the rod is non-uniform, so you need to put the centre of mass somewhere, but maybe not in the centre because it's non-uniform. So slightly to the left or to the right of the centre. And so note the rod is non-uniform. And so let the distance from uh, R to the uh, Centre of mass be x, we're going to have to find x and we're going to have to find the value of m, which is the mass of the rod. Right, so when a 120 kilogram mass is applied to the rod at the point, the rod here, the rod will be at the point of tipping, therefore any reaction here will be zero, so therefore R2 will be equal to zero. Right, if we now taking moments about uh, R, then we have 120 G times 6, so it's 120 G times the distance from R, which is 6, those are the anticlockwise, and because the rod is just in equilibrium, that will have to be the uh, clockwise uh, moment will be mg times this distance here x so we're going to have to subtract mg x is equal to zero so 6 times 12 is um, 720 g and then if we take the mg x over to the other side and then rearrange either uh, the g's will cancel out and then rearrange either for x or m so x will be equal to 720 over m we'll call that equation one Okay, so we now repeat the problem now by placing the 80 kilogram at this end and taking moments about this point here. Again, so using the diagram, to keep that same distance there as x. Okay, so this will be at the point of tipping, therefore R1 will be equal to zero. We've got an 80 uh, G Newton force acting downwards here. So we're taking moments about this point here, S. So anticlockwise, we're going to have... Now, we've got to work out what this distance is from um, S is going to be. Well, if this is 12, then this distance here will be 12 minus X. So mg times 12 minus X minus the clockwise moment, which is going to be 6 times 80G or 80G times 6. And that's going to be equal to 0. So expanding, we're going to have 12mg minus mgx minus 6 eighths of 48 and that is 0 so 480 G is equal to 0 now the G's will all cancel out and we have from part the first part that X is equal to 720 over M so if we replace this X here with 7 over 20 M we're going to have 12 M minus M times 720 over M minus 480 is equal to 0 so the M's now cancel out and we're going to have 12m minus 1200m is equal to 0. 12m is equal to 1200, so m will be equal to 100. Right, so doing that, we can substitute back in here and find the value of x. So substitute into 1. So x will be 720 over 100. So x will be 7.2. So actually, if we should have drawn it, it should actually be more over to this side of the centre point. And therefore, the distance of the centre of mass from the point P will be 6 plus x. So that will be 6 plus 7.2 metres, which gives me 13.2 metres. So the mass of the rod is 100 kilograms and its uh, centre of mass will be 13.2 metres from P. 
Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the center of mass and its position on a non-uniform rod using moments. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.